This conference will now be recorded. Hey everyone, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, Easy Way to Learn. Today in this tutorial video, I'm going to explain you about a complete project. So basically in this particular project, bot is going to interact with different applications based on, you know, desktop and the web base. And so basically like, you know, a three different application bot is going to interact and it will going to create a customer data. So bot will read our in input file from the Excel. It will fill uh, the details into applications uh, like, you know, Salesforce, Wave and Inflow inventory. So these are the three application which bot is going to interact. And at the end, once everything will done, bot will trigger an automatic email to the end user. Okay, so let me go to uh, this application and I'll show you how the application is look like. So let me go to first first application which I'm using is a Salesforce. So you can see here, so bot basically, it will go to Salesforce and it will create a customer contact. So you can see here, these are the details which bot is going to enter. Now, uh, let me go to another application which is also a web based application this application name is wave so you can see here what bot will do bot will come to sales tab then it will create on customer then it will add a customer details so let me click here and i'll show you how this tab is look like so you can see here we have a many information available customer name email address phone contact etc etc now let me go to third application which is a desktop based application so in this particular application you can see here we have so many uh, information is available so basically bot is going to create a customer here so bot will select this particular tab then it will create click on this new customer and bot will fill the details here okay now let me quickly go to uh, input excel so this, this is the basically an input Excel file from where bot is going to read the data. So you can see here, so many information is available. Let me explain you one uh, important information here. Like, and you can see column D system code. So based on this column code, bot is going to decide which application bot needs to select and fill the data or create the customer application, right? So SF stands for Salesforce W, WB stand for web based application, which is wave application. IF stand for inflow inventory. So these are the you know system code which will help bot to decide which uh, to select which application. Okay. One more information here, like you can see here status and the remarks column is uh, I have kept here as blank. Okay. So basically, bot is going to read this input file in a loop. It will read a data it will store in a variable then it will going to fill those uh, required information in the application based on the logic which i have created i have already created and it will mark this status as pass pass or fail fail in case of if any error is happening okay This conference will now be recorded. So let me quickly go to the code. So let me go to automation anywhere. So guys, you can see here in this particular project, I'm using automation anywhere version 11.3. So you can see here, like uh, this is looking different uh, than version 10. So in next video, I'm going to explain you about uh, the extra features or the, you know, extra commands, which is available in this particular version. So let me go to this code. So you can see here, I have already developed this code. So basically in this particular uh, part, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, this my bot is going to launch uh, these three applications, okay? Once this application will launch, then bot will read this input Excel. So you can see here, I'm using loop, okay? Loop and error handling. So basically, I'm using you know commands like error handling, open browser, metabot, object cloning, send email, Excel, variable operation, if else, loop, and the delay. So these are the commands which I have used to complete these projects. So now you can see here I'm using uh, these Excel commands or Excel operations to read the value from the Excel and store those value in 
us you know user created variables so you can see here i have already created these variables which i am using to read the data from the particular excel okay so you can see here most of the part uh, which i have developed using the meta bot so you can see here from here the business logic is starting so based on this business logic which is available in column d that is nothing but a system code column okay so based on that only bot will call a different application and it will create the customer account okay so once it will done you can see here another thing where i have applied this logic to update status like pass fail pass fail or in case of if any error happened then bot will write that description in the column r which is nothing but a remarks column okay so once this will done bot will close this excel sheet after saving then bot will trigger a email after attaching that uh, you know excel input file so this is all about this task bot command let me quickly go to a meta bot so you can see here in this particular demo or a project you know i am using i have created two uh, meta bots one for you know to interact with this sales force and the web web application another is i have created for the uh, desktop based application so these two meta bot i am using in this particular project so you can see here if you come here you can see here this uh, inflow inventory meta bot and the salesforce meta bot is available here so i hope you are clear with the requirement and the code development guys i can understand this is not possible to understand entire uh, you know code development because i am not developing this code in front of you because you know if i start developing so it will take long time so in case if you think you would like to get this code or you would like to understand more about this code and the meta bot you can request me via comment i would be happy to share this code via email or the way you would like to take it from my end okay so let me go back to my uh, all the applications let me close this let me log out from this application and let me run the bot so i am running this bot so let me uh, tell you one more thing guys uh, like whatever command i have used in this particular demo uh, for that also i have already created some videos where i have explained each and every details about those commands so i would request you to kindly refer to my youtube channel or you can get this you know uh, particular video disc details in the you know comment section so you can go ahead and uh, explore those videos also it will be very helpful for you to understand Uh, more about the automation anywhere or the commands which is available so now you can see bot is logged into the salesforce now bot is going to logged into the wave the next is bot is going to open that desktop based application if you have notice you can see in run time window uh, mostly you know bot is uh, where you can see the line number so you can see like bot is mostly using the meta bot so here i can say like you know uh, 80% of the work i have completed by using the meta bot only because what i found like you know meta bot is the very it's like you know as for me it's very easy to develop the meta bot and it is very fast compared to other commands which is available in automation anywhere and the chances of failure is also very less so that is the reason i have used meta bot here and one more thing guys you can see here uh, here like you know delay is taking little long time because of you know this application is sometime taking long time to launch so you know i have created this code in very simple way in case if you want instead of using delay you can use other commands which is available like you know wait for window change or wait for screen change so that also you can go ahead and use as per your project requirement
so you can see like how bot uh, quickly filling the details in uh, the different applications So you can see like, uh, you know, bot uh, already process uh, the input file, which was available in Excel sheet. Now the final step bot is triggering the email with the input Excel. So this is done. Let me go to the input Excel. So this is the input Excel. You can see here the time which updated. You can see here bot uh, mark this status as passed because we haven't got any error uh, during the process. Now let me go to email and I'll show you whether bot uh, was able to send the email or not. So let me go to my mailbox. So you can see here, just now we got a mail. Okay. The same Excel. Let me open this Excel and I can show you then. Okay, let me close this first. It is taking little time. So from here you can see. Okay, so you can see the same Excel which uh, bot sent via email. So okay, so this is that Excel which uh, bot has triggered by a uh, you know send email command. So guys, this is all about this uh, live project. Okay, so one more thing guys, in case if you have any question, any suggestion or any feedback, you can go ahead and post in a comment section in case if you have any video request specific to automation anywhere, I would be happy to work on that. So please go ahead and post your uh, query or comments in comment section. Okay. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It's an honest request to kindly subscribe my channel and do like on my video. So it will be, you know, kind of motivation for me to me to create more and more videos uh, using automation anywhere, UI path or other upcoming, you know, latest technologies. So thank you so much, guys. Bye bye.